Okay. So did you bring your bulletproof vests and... No, it's okay. okay. It's actually very safe. It just looks, it just looks uh, impressive. It's not, it's not that mean looking. Okay. So... Okay. Good. Hey, imagine that. We've got some M&Ms. Who switched from lecture one to here? <laughs> All of you. <laughs> I was supposed to go to him. <laughs> Who switched from lecture two? <laughs> lecture two. Oh, it was you, right? Okay. Let's see how good my aim is. Oh, no. It was <laughs> I think it was her, but anyway. That's not... Clearly, I don't have a career in baseball. Okay, so uh, who else? Maybe I should close my eyes and... Uh, he got it. <laughs> okay, there. Since you're a good sport, you can share some there. Okay, we've got quite a few here. Uh, okay. There's no way I can get to the back row. I'll dislocate my arm. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, good. Now we've got two. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> okay. Can I keep one for me? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll never reach back there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now, sorry, didn't mean to hit you there. Okay. Careful. Uh, you'll have to share. If you, if you're one of the lucky ones, you get to share. God. Oh, okay. But you take, you get to share. Okay. So now my voice is really gone. Okay. So, the demo. Remember the atomic spectra? The line spectra? Well, that's what this shows here. You see, what we have is we've got these, these um, tubes, and the top one is helium, and the next one is neon, and then mercury, and then the one at the bottom is uh, a general, what we call incandescent light. And what I need to do is that, and that, and that. <laughs> what else? I need to be able to see, actually. Let's see if I, if I do this. Oh, that's oh, very dark. OK. Uh, Let's do that. Okay. So, what you've got here is a light source that is putting out white light, just like a light bulb that you would have at home or in your dorm. But what is different is this thing in front. This thing in front is acting like a prism. It's dividing that white light into the different colors. Okay? But let me now switch that one off and I'm going to switch that one on and this is mercury and you will see that there are three lines do you see there are really three distinct colors well those are for mercury the different colors right so you see mercury there let's take a look so what have we got here? We've got neon. We've got neon. What colors do you see for neon? Red, yellow. Yeah, and there's a bit of green, right? <coughs> you got a, Yeah, there's green. See, those are the different lines for neon, okay? Now, when you combine them, neon will look what? Sort of orangey. Who's been to Vegas? <laughs> Never been to Vegas. Well, who's seen pictures of Vegas, okay? <laughs> right? The neon lights, right? So neon... But if you have something that splits up those colors, 
you see that in fact the transitions for neon, so that is neon atoms, when they're excited by passing an electric current through them, that's what's happening here. There's electric current being passed through um, <coughs> the uh, neon gas and the electrons are being excited and then going back to the ground state and they're emitting wavelengths of light. And we can see that it's emitting wavelengths of light in what part, what colors are they? Red, yellow and green. Okay? And so we can actually identify these different just by their color, by their, their emission spectrum. Okay? Let's take a look now at the top one. The top one is helium. Okay? And so helium, you can see it's a bit cooler, right? It looks, well actually it looks white if you look just at the bulb, but if you look at its spectrum that's being split up, what colors are you seeing? Yellow, blue. Yellow green and blue. There's actually quite a lot of blue and purple there. It's a colder color, okay? Um, and those three are, those are combining to give a white light. So what's happening in all of these when I say this is helium. It's helium gas atoms being excited. The electrons then come back to the ground state and they are emitting photons of light in what part of the spectrum? Well, in the um, yellow and the green and the blue and the violet. Okay? There's actually two. Can you see there's two different blues? There are actually two different blues. Depends on the angle. That's why I keep on moving. But you can see now I can turn, I can turn all of them on. Okay, okay, uh, and <laughs> now this is just a regular light bulb at the bottom, um, and so it'll have the most lines associated with it, um, and a little harder to see the different lines because it's just it's a broad spectrum, okay. Um, whereas for the others, you can see distinct lines. So let me turn off the bottom one because it's dominating too much, right? It's dominating too much, um, but for the others, you can see. They've definitely got color characteristics. It's emitting certain wavelengths of light, and those are <laughs> associated. So I now have a sore throat and blind eyes. Okay, so um, we will stop there. And there you have it. Okay. So thank you. So there you have your emission spectrum.